Hello, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another match tutorial. In today's topic, we will be continuing our discussion, which is all about the measures of position for the group data. And today we will be focusing on discussing how to compute the deciles for the group data. These are the steps on how to compute the deciles for the group data. The first one is to construct the cumulative frequency distribution. After that, we will decide the class that contains the decile sub k class by using the formula k sub n all over 10. To identify the d sub k class, it is the class with the value of cumulative frequency which is equal or greater than the answer that we have compute using this formula. And after we have identified the decile k class, we will be now using the formula of decils for the group data in which dk is equal to lb plus the quantity kn all over 10 minus less than cf sub b all over frequency times the interval wherein n is equal to the total number of frequency. Less than CF sub B is the cumulative frequency before the decil sub K class. FDK is equal to the frequency of the decil sub K class. And LB is equal to the lower class boundary of the decil sub K class. And lastly, I is equal to class width or the interval. So this will be the formula that we will be using to compute for the deciles of our group data. Let's have this given table. Let's try to complete the missing parts of the cumulative frequency distribution table. Let's compute first for the value of i, which is the class width or the interval. We can compute for the value of i by counting starting from the lower limit of the first class which is 11 up to the higher limit of our first class which is equal to 20. So we will count starting from 11. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and that is equal to 10. So meaning to say the value of our class width is equal to 10. So i will be equal to 10. After that, we will compute for the value of n or the total frequency. We can compute it by getting the summation of all the numbers in the frequency table. So we have 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 7 is equal to 18. 18 plus 10 is equal to 28. And then 28 plus 2 will be equal to 30. So the total frequency is equal to 30. After that, let's compute for the lower boundary. So for the lower boundary, we will get all the numbers on our lower limit. So the lower limits are 11, 21, 31, 41, 51. And to get the lower boundary, we will subtract the lower limit by 0 0.5. We have 11 minus 0 0.5 will be equal to 10.5. 21 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 20.5. 31 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 30.5. 41 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 40.5. And 51 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 50.5. So these are the values of our lower boundary. Subtract all the lower limits by 0 0.5 to get the value of the lower boundary. After that, we have the column for the less than cumulative frequency and we can get it by looking at the frequency of our first class. So our first class 
is the class that contains the lowest lower limit and the lowest higher limit. So this is our first class. So we will get the value of the frequency of our first class, which is equal to 2, and we will copy it in the column of the less than cumulative frequency. So we will put 2 here, and then after that, we will add 2 by the frequency of the second class, which is equal to 10. So 2 plus 10 will be equal to 12, and then you will add 12 with the frequency of our third class, which is equal to 7. So 12 plus 7 will be equal to 19. And then 19 plus the frequency of our fourth class, which is equal to 6. 19 plus 6 is equal to 25. And then 25 plus 5 will be equal to 30. So the value of our less than cumulative frequency on our last class must be equal to the value of our total frequency. So if the total frequency is equal to 30, then the value of the less than cumulative frequency of our last class must be also equal to 30. After we have computed for the cumulative frequency distribution table, let's try to compute the value of decel 2. The next step is to use the formula dk class is equal to kn all over 10 to identify our decel class. So we will be substituting the corresponding value since we are looking for the value of decel 2. So the value of k will be equal to 2 and the value of n, the total frequency is equal to 30 all over 10 because we are looking for the decile class. So decile is over 10. And then after that, we will simplify. 2 times 30 will be equal to 60. And then 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6. And then after that, to identify our decile 2 class, we will look at our cumulative frequency. So which is the number which is greater than or equal to 6? Let's start with our first class. So obviously, 2 is less than 6. So this is not our decile 2 class. On our second class, we have 12. So 12 now is greater than 6. So this one will be our decile 2 class. So decile 2 class is on the second class. This class is the decile 2 class. After we have get the decile 2 class, we will now use the formula of decil. So we have decil k is equal to lower boundary plus the quantity k times n all over 10 minus the less than cumulative frequency before the decil class all over the frequency of the decil class times the interval. We will be substituting the corresponding value. So the lower boundary is equal to 20.5 since the decile sub 2 class is on our second class, so we will look at the lower boundary of the second class, which is equal to 20.5, plus the quantity, the value of k times n all over 10 has already been computed, which is equal to 6, minus the less than cumulative frequency before the decil class, so this is our decil class, so the less than cumulative frequency before 12 is equal to 2. So we will substitute 2 here all over the frequency of our decil class since the decil class is on the second class, so the frequency is equal to 10 times the interval which is equal to 10. We will be simplifying this one, bring down 20.5. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And then 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4. And then adding these two numbers, 20.5 plus 4 is equal to 24.5. So the value of decile 2 is equal to 24.5. If we will interpret this, 20% of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 24.5. Let's have another example. Using the same table, let's calculate for the value of decile 6. 
we will be identifying our decile class by using the formula k times n all over 10. Substituting the corresponding value, the value of k is equal to 6 times the value of n is equal to 30 all over 10 because we are looking for the decile class. So this is over 10. Then after this, 6 times 30 is equal to 180, and then 180 divided by 10 is equal to 18. So decile 6 class is equal to 18, and now to identify the decile class, we will look at our less than cumulative frequency. So we will identify which of these numbers is greater than or equal to 18. So 2 is less than 18 so this one is not our decile class 12 is also less than so this is not our decile class and finally 19 is greater than 18 so this one will be our decile class so 19 is located at the third class so decile 6 class is on the third class after we have identified the class that contains the decile 6 class, we will be now using the formula of decile for the group data. We have decile k is equal to lower boundary plus the quantity k times n all over 10 minus less than cf all over frequency of the decile class times the interval. We will substitute the corresponding value. Our lower boundary is located at the third class. So this one is the first class, second class, third class. So we will look at the value of the lower boundary and that is equal to 30.5 plus the quantity. The value of k times n all over 10 has already been computed and that is equal to 18. All we need to do is to substitute it minus the less than cumulative frequency before the decile class. So the decile class is on the third class. So what is the number before the less than cumulative frequency of our decile class? So 19 is our less than cumulative frequency of the decile class. So what is the number before it? So obviously the number is equal to 12. So we will be substituting 12 here all over the frequency of our decile class so our decile class again is located at our third class. So the frequency on the third class is equal to 7 times the interval, which is equal to 10. After that, we will be simplifying this equation. We just need to bring down 30.5 plus the quantity 18 minus 12 is equal to 6. 6 times 10 is equal to 60. And then 60 divided by 7 is equal to 8.57. Adding these two numbers, 30.5 plus 8.57 is equal to 39.07. So the value of the SL6 class is equal to 39.07. If we will interpret this, 60% of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 39.07. Let's have our last example. Using the same given, let's now calculate the value of decile 9. Again, we will use the formula k times n all over 10 to identify the decile k class. Substituting the corresponding value, the value of k is equal to 9 times the value of n is equal to 30 all over 10. And then we will simplify this by multiplying 9 times 30, that is equal to 270. 270 divided by 10 is equal to 27. We will now identify our decile class. So our decile class must be greater than or equal to 27. So the number which is greater than or equal to 27 is 30. So our decile 9 class is located on the fifth class. So after we have identified our decile class, we will now be using the formula of decils for the group data in which decile k is equal to the lower boundary plus the quantity k times n all over 10 minus the less than cumulative frequency before the decile class all over the frequency of the decile class 
times the interval. And then we will now be substituting the corresponding value. We have decil 9 is equal to the value of the lower boundary. So our decil class is on the fifth class. So what is the lower boundary? That is equal to 50.5. We will just copy it here plus the quantity the value of k times n all over 10 is equal to 27 so substitute minus the less than cumulative frequency before our decil class so what is the less than cumulative frequency of our decil class that is 30 and what is the number before it that is 25 so substitute 25 here all over the frequency of our decil class so what is the frequency of our decil class that is equal to 5 so substitute 5 here times the value of the interval which is equal to 10 and then we will simplify bring down decil sub 9 is equal to 50.5 plus 27 minus 25 is equal to 2 and then 2 times 10 is equal to 20 and then 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 and then adding these two numbers 50.5 plus 4 is equal to 54.5 if we will interpret this 90 percent of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 